Charlotte's kennel capacity crisis could give the community its biggest test yet in just a few weeks. And animal advocates hope folks step up for the challenge. We've told you how CMPD Animal Con Care and Control has been bursting at the seams with dogs for more than two years. Dogs are coming in so fast, staff has had to make hard decisions much more often about who stays and lives and who doesn't. And now the next phase of construction at the shelter is about to make things even tougher. <laughs> it snuggles on the couch for Alexis Kedover <laughs> and her new foster pup, Linda, or as she calls her, Linda Lou. Good girl, Lou. Two weeks ago, amid the latest crest in the capacity crisis at CMPD Animal Care and Control, Kedover was sitting in Linda's kennel saying goodbye. I just held her and I told her how much I loved her and that she was such a good girl. At the time, the animal shelter was over capacity and Linda's fate was uncertain with kennels needing to be cleared. Kedover was living in a smaller space then and couldn't take the pup she's grown to love as a volunteer walker. I just kept repeating over and over again what a good girl she was and that if I could, and that she really just didn't deserve it. If I could snap my fingers and make it better, I would. Fortunately, another volunteer stepped in, saving kennel space and Linda's life, giving the three-year-old terrier a couch to crash on until more dogs could be adopted out and the shelter squeeze loosened. The power of a foster. And she came back from her mini break and I ran right to her kennel and I called her name running through the kennels and she came running right up to the kennel to see me and I broke down in tears again just because I was able to see her again. CMPD Animal Care and Control says it's hoping to see more stories of salvation like this in the coming weeks because its biggest test yet is coming. 50 kennels that we're going to be down for a while is a lot of kennels for us to be down. The shelter is undergoing necessary construction and starting in June, the next phase is coming to its kennels in the back, eliminating 50 spaces in an already tight situation. It says it will need existing fosters like Hadover, new fosters and creative sheltering ideas now more than ever. Like if there's boarding facilities out there that would be willing to take some of our dogs for you know, a month or so if they have room, if they're doggy daycares that can even take two for a couple of weeks. Kedover hopes sharing the call for help now generates the miracle needed to save lives, like the life saved two weeks ago. So moments like this can happen today. That right there is the power of everyone telling everyone and having everyone tell everyone. I mean, that was, I, I think that's why I didn't lose Linda that day. And if you'd like to learn more about fostering, this QR code will take you to the CMPD Animal Care and Control site where you can learn more about the program and also apply. By the way, if you have a boarding facility or daycare and you want to help, you can look for this story at WCNC.com and get the appropriate contact information there.